next rig I'm going to cover for you is an iconic rig and a rig that probably catches stupid amounts of fish to be perfectly honest with you all across the world including South Africa and it's called the hinge chod where do you use it you use it in areas where you've got weed you use it in areas where you've got silt where you've got bottom debris all those sort of things um, from our local waters at Florida Lake in, in Ruripurt, the hinge chod definitely accounts for more fish than any other rig at this point in time. To tie it, pretty easy, but you've got to just focus on what I'm about to show you. Because there are a couple of elements that you need to be aware of. There's a couple of ways of doing it. You can uh, uh, tie a knot. I'm going to do that because I'm going to reverse construct it for you. Very easy. I pass the line through the eye of the chod swivel. And it's called a chod swivel for the simple reason that on the barrel there's a little cavity. Like a little groove. And that's where you fit your, your putty. I push it through and I just make a three turn grinner knot. So just fold it over itself like that and I just go once, twice and three times. It is a very difficult material to tie so you've got to be slow and careful because you don't want the line to burn when you when you tie the knots. So pull it down nice and gently and then what you then do take that piece cut it off and I just burn it with the lighter to dab it closed. Just like that. So now I have created a knot like that. To tie the knot I push the line through the bottom of the eye and here I have to obviously play around first because if you want consistency in the length of the little boom section you need to make sure that you've got your measurements spot on every time. So for this purpose I've got it at three centimeters now I grip the hook and the line like so. You see the tip of the hook still sticking out? All I'm going to now do is take this line and by creating that loop I'm going to wind it around once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven and eight times. Then I'm going to take the tag end and I'm going to push it through that loop like that. Now I'm going to start pulling down. I'm just guiding it with my nail and by using the puller tool again I'm going to just pull until the knot is settled. like that. So the very neat knot, I can now cut that piece off. I can now take my medium rig ring slide it onto the tag end like that and now I'm going to bend that tag end back and I'm going to pass it through the eye of the hook like so last step cut off that tag end and again with a lighter I'm going to just dab it 
to create that little loop. That's a little D. And all I do now, I just manipulate the mouth trap because it is quite a rigid material. I can now shape it as I wish. And the best thing is to have it sit at a nice curve. And all you need to do is just rub it through your fingers to make sure that that bend is sitting nice and straight like that and that you've got a slight curve that's part one of the chod completed I then turn back to my faithful boom and I take a length of boom again I take my crimps two of them I put the line through the barrel and through the ring of the ring swivel and again through the barrel like that I bring it just down so it's not quite tight there right and I crimp it Cut the tag end off and on this end I do exactly the same. I cut it at an angle so it's nice and sharp. Push it through, push it back through the barrel. Let us have a look here. We want about a 17 odd centimeter or in English terms a 7 inch boom section so let's get that 7 inch boom section there like that and I crimp it again and I cut it off now it's just a matter of straightening the line You can take your choddy tool as well as the puller tool and just pull it nice and firmly. All that remains is adding the bait. So I'm going to use my floss cap again. Take the floss cap, take my pop up, and this time around it's got to be a pop up. It's critical to have a popper bait because you want this whole rig to sit off the deck. Take my floss again, cut a piece off, I put the floss through the rig ring, take the pop up, hook it onto the floss. nice and firmly and here I don't pull the bait into the ring I want the ring to create enough free movement and I burn it dab it and the last part is the putty normally you've got to play around with the putty to get exactly the right weight and now it's just molding until it looks just right this rig is going to be cast out or dropped by boat and it's going to settle like that on the lake bed absolutely perfect inch chod is one of my all-time favorites.